Hey guys, welcome back to The Long Dark. So if you've seen my other episodes I've done on this game, you would probably know that I've just been playing in survival mode and the first attempt was terrible, I died right away, but I'm still alive in my second attempt. I'm not in the best of health, I'm close to death, but I haven't died yet. But I am kind of ready to just do the story mode. I might come back to the survival mode, but I mostly was just playing in survival mode to get some practice, get a feel for the game. Um, but now I'm kind of feeling ready to just dive right into the story mode. So that's what we're going to do today. Maybe I'll come back to the survival mode. You guys can let me know if you want me to. I'm so close to death anyway that I mean, it's kind of pointless. Um, I'm kind of just avoiding the inevitable. I mean, I got attacked by a wolf. I'm not doing so hot, but I can come back to that if you guys are interested. But let's get into the story mode. I think there's a new thing here. So there's Winter Mutant, then Winter's Embrace, the Summer, Survive, and even colder and harder, harsher edition of the Long Dark's Quiet Apocalypse. Okay, so I think that's like a a new newer version, but I think I'm gonna do the Winter Mute, the authored episodic story mode for yes, we're gonna do that because that's the um I think okay, episode one, do not go gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Interesting, okay. I'm kind of scared. Okay, I'm ready. Capable survivor, green survivor. What's this easy for new players most interested in? Players with some experience. I technically have some experience. I've played a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll go with capable. I usually play on normal. I never play on easy. I usually do the normal, so even though I probably should do easy. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. Usually I play story mode first. But now that I've actually gotten in a little, this is a unique experience. Just so beautiful. Dude, this time because before I was able to choose and I was a girl, but now I'm a dude. I think, yeah. Ah! Oh, oh, don't, don't, you're never supposed to do that. You're not supposed to take it out. Oh, that's not a good survival tip. Do not pull anything out of you. hours earlier. Oh, 
How do we get to that point? The Joker. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. I can do that. I'm kind of glad I played a little bit because now I know what it takes to make a fire. Or this would have taught me. Oh, I need one more thing. Oh, there we go. I think that's all I need. I'm just going to take everything. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. Said it used to be beautiful. Used to be. Not much reason to go there these days. Since the quakes and all. Mm. Oh, that's optional. Okay. I'm good. I feel like maybe I should have done this before survival mode. Maybe this would have just taught me everything. Oh well, I feel a little bit more comfortable, so I'm kind of glad that I started in survival mode. Explore the hangar. Ooh, fancy thing. Well, here we are, old girl. The best flights may be behind you, but it's still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Yeah, I have a feeling you're gonna get that. This looks handy. Can I take any of that? I feel like taking as much as I can might help me later on. So I'm kind of trying to take everything I can. Crap. Never works when you need it. You're so negative. <laughs> oh, toilet water! Oh, I can't take it? <laughs> That's something I always do in survival mode is take the toilet water. Okay, I'm ready to go. Can't leave yet? Oh, there was a door. Was I supposed to leave out that door? I think I tried to open it. Did I? Yeah. Seen all that I need to see. I don't remember needing my partner this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. It's pretty late in the day. Yes, You're tired taking up. I love these objectives. Those were better days. Man, what's happened to this guy? He's so negative. <laughs> the phone. I love how <laughs> simple these objectives are. <laughs> Take a nap. Answer the phone. That's not the right phone. Oh. <laughs> to answer the cell phone. Oh, my chair's so squeaky. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. Whoa. Whoa, well, well, slow down, Moody. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd find her door. It must be cold. My nose is so red. It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh, uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? Do they know each other? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... 
Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... The... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Oh, oh well, I'm Mackenzie. That kept tripping me up. I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? Of course. What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. When it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You Are don't you know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. What's happening? Do they like have a Throw kid your bags together? in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Oh my gosh. I have a feeling they had a son together who died, maybe? I don't know. That's just my theory. They definitely have history, that's for sure. Let's see. Two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Oh. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Optional. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take stuff. I already kind of went around and collected everything. Lord Astrid, why can't she do it? Astrid trapped the mysterious case. Astrid the dock, water, energy bars, purification tablets. Okay, put me. Just need to grab my park and let go. Stuff in the hatch, and then we're ready to go. Put that in. Why can't I put that in? Okay, whatever. Ready to go. Grab your parka. Oh, I think it's down here. Grab it. Oh, we're ready to go. Researcher, doctor, what's his name? No. 
No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times at this point. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. What choice? There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? Oh my god. And this is how it started. Oh my god. Bastard. Broke my fall. Mostly. Oh my gosh, where's she? Oh, I forgot I can't jump. I'm so used to jumping. Use first aid to stop the blood loss. Gotta stop that bleeding. Where is it? I think it's in my inventory. Or is it somewhere? Did it fall? I can't just use a bandage, can I? Healed blood loss, okay. Try to climb out of the ravine. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, okay. Um, trying to decide which way to go. Well, that's probably not a good idea. way to go. Are those bones? Start a fire? How? How do I start a fire? Okay, I started a fire. <laughs> I never started a fire on its own. I just used my matches to get around and then... How did it say to do it? What did it say to do? Oh, start a fire. Try to climb out. Use first. Oh, I did the use the first aid. I haven't climbed out of the ravine. Start a fire? How? How am I supposed to start a fire? Is that a bed? That's a bed. Bandage wound and warm up. Okay. How do I start a fire? <clears throat> There's fire everywhere. Why would I need to start a fire? <laughs> Can I just light myself on fire? Okay, made a fire. I should warm up. Okay. I think I'm 
dying now. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna leave this here because I got a good start. Uh, <laughs> this game is really hard, like, it's no joke. Um, if you get caught on fire, you're dead. If you fall off a cliff, you're dead. Some games you're not, you know? And then this game, you are. Like, it's very realistic. <laughs> um, but I died anyway, so um, I'll come back to, I think. Um, when I first arrived after the plane crash, and that was chapter two. So, yeah, I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> but we gotta start on it, and I'm really curious to see more of the story. I'm glad I started playing story mode because I am really invested in their relationship and their past. I wanna know what choice he made. I think. I'm guessing it's their son they're talking about, I'm not sure. But I'm interested in finding out more about their story and seeing what happens. This game is no joke though, this is hard. I think this is even harder than survival mode almost, but I'm really excited to keep playing. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode of The Long Dark and I will see you in my next video. Bye!